What up, man? It's your boy, Mr. GC Asian Taylor. Back at it again, man. Um, I wish somebody would have told me that that sweat hit different when you pull your hair back. Uh, yeah, I have to start wearing bandanas, but you know what it is. You know, affirmate, meditate, cardio, start my day, like all days. And so, um, that's how we do it, man. Clear our mind, you know, think things through. Strive for your goals and get your, get your day started, man. But today, man, I want to talk about something, man. And, and, you know, I want to ask the question, too, you know, because <sighs> something that I feel like we are taught a lot of times. Money is the devil, right? Money is the devil. Think about what you, you learned about money growing up. Money is the devil. Money is the root of all evil. You know, don't be greedy. You know, just make enough. Just, you know, it, everything you thought or, or learned, you know, for the most part about money was, was negativity. It wasn't positive. It wasn't positivity. It was just straight negative. All the things that we learned. But the fact of the matter is you need money to live in this society. You need money. You need to make money. So why weren't we taught those things? Right? When you think about it, I mean, you talk, get a job, take care of your family. Okay. Basic principle values. But it was still a negative connotation on money to have you thinking like people that make a whole lot of money are evil, are negative, you know, Rich people don't care about poor people. Rich people don't 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 take care of poor people. Man, if that guy that makes ten million dollars a year just gave back a hundred thousand, or everybody that made ten million dollars a year just gave back a hundred thousand, man, the world would be in a better place, right? But then the question is, are you sure? If all those people gave a hundred thousand, the world would be in a better place because. The millionaires that I know, they give back significantly, significantly. And I would even speak to say that more than you know. See, this is the thing, especially when it comes to that because of how we've been taught. Like most millionaires, it's the only thing that you see when, when talking about a lot of them is negativity. It's never the positivity thing, you know, the positive things that they do. It never talks about those things. It's only the negative things. That Bugatti that they bought. Like, oh my God, how did you spend a million dollars on a car? That's crazy. But it doesn't talk about the $500,000 that he gave to the homeless. You know, things like that. We have to stop thinking of money as negativity, right? Stop correlating those two because cream, cream, I'm sorry, cream, cash rules everything around me. It's a fact. Like, we need, it. if you're living in this society, you need money. You got to have money. So I don't care what your thought process is around money, values, money doesn't matter. But yet, you talk about, man, if I had this money, I would be paying off my house. Man, if I had this money, you know, I would take care of this, I would take care of that. You steady having those conversations, and then in the second breath, you're saying money don't matter. Which one is it? Think about it. All right, man. It's your boy, Mr. GC, Agent Taylor. Man.